Hi, have you got rent arrears in lockdown? Nikki from Nikki Homes here. And today I just wanna give you a few hints and tips how we have managed to make sure that we have got zero rent arrears in our own assets and also our landlord's assets in lockdown. So how do you beat rent arrears in lockdown? It is a common issue at the moment and a lot of tenants are struggling to pay. Well, the first thing I'm gonna to say to you is do not go like a bull at a china gate. Our aim is obviously to always make sure that our landlord's assets are paid for and the rental income comes in. However, you need to remember at the moment, the law and the courts are on the tenant side because the courts are shut. Therefore, if you go like a bull at a china gate, you're likely not gonna get any rental income from your tenants and they're going to freeze up and they know that they have the ability to do that. So, do not go like a bull at a china gate. Speak to your tenants, work with your tenants, communicate with your tenants. Absolutely crucial right now. So first tip, don't go to the bull trying to gate. Secondly, speak to them, have a conversation, give your tenants a buzz. We sent out an email at the very beginning of lockdown to all of our tenants advising them the process they would need to go through if they ended up in a situation where they may end up with uh, rent arrears or not being able to pay their rental. We set up a whole email as to how to deal with that and the conversation, the information that they needed to provide to us um, if you ended up in that situation. So have a conversation with them, give them a buzz, Try and keep that relationship open and speak to them and see, you know, where they're at, if they've been furloughed, if they haven't been furloughed, where they're at and really see if you can work with them to make sure at least get the majority of that rental income in if you cannot get your full rental income in. Thirdly, is look at payment plans if you have to. Um, we luckily haven't had to do any payment plans so far, touch wood, um, but look at them if you have to. Um, most of all, people at the moment just need empathy. You just need your tenants to realise and have a bit of empathy. Um, that you understand what they're going through, but they also understand what you're going through. At the end of the day, we all have mortgages to pay, but tenants also need to um, feel like they also have understood where they're coming from if they have no income. So um, I would say to you is also send them um, links to the government websites as to where they can apply for um, help for income, because help is available for rental income if they are not working and they have no means of income and no source of income. So tell them where to go, send them the links um, and just empathize with them. But look at the payment plan if you have to, look at the options that are available and what is the quickest way to do it. I'm not saying a payment plan that's gonna take them 10 months to pay off their, their debt as such, or you know, paying 10% of their rent now and paying 90% later on. It's not gonna work realistically, is it? So look at a payment plan that works for both of you. Um, and fourth, if you're using an agent, make sure your agent is communicating with your tenants. And if you're using an agent and you haven't had your rental in, check that it isn't sitting in their client account. I have heard of some agents recently that are using the money for themselves, which is illegal. We have to have property um, rental income to come into a client account, client money account, which is protected under CMP. So therefore they cannot legally withhold your money if it is sitting in that client account. So check that they haven't paid their rental into the client account and your um, and your letting agent is just withholding that rent because I know some red letting agents aren't working but they cannot withhold that rent from you um, so make sure your agent if they haven't had the rent is communicating with your tenants again not a bull at a china gate so work with your tenants um, make sure that you build a relationship together that works together at the end of the day you do not want your tenants to think that you're all the way over here and they're all the way over here because all that happens is it creates a war and then you end up in court and then nobody gets any money and it costs you a fortune to try and get your asset back so we don't want to be in that situation we want rents in landlords paid happy tenants happy landlords working together and that's how we achieve absolutely zero rent arrears in lockdown if you need any more help advice or guidance drop me over an email see you later bye